was this a good call mm, and no it wasn't and let me tell you why wwe and wwe fans glorify these records and accolades more than ever and it's just ridiculous they really took the title off of an upcoming superstar in tiffany stratton to give it to becky lynch to add an accolade to her resume if you guys wanted her to be the NXT champion, why didn't you guys just do it in her time? See, this is the thing. WWE will go back to try to fix some of their mistakes. They have a track record of doing this, and it's just wrong. And this is what drives me crazy because we have so many incredible women right now in NXT. For those that are not aware, Gigi Dolan, Kiana James, Roxanne Perez hasn't even got back to that title since losing it. We have JC Jane, so many others that could have used an opportunity against Tiffany Stratton. If you guys wanted to elevate Tiffany Stratton to go up against a veteran like Becky Lynch, why didn't you guys just have her beat her? But they would never book Becky Lynch losing to Tiffany Stratton. What was the point of this? I want to see how this elevates the women's division in NXT. I love Becky Lynch, but this was not her victory to take. And listen, if they book the rematch at NXT No Mercy, for Becky Lynch to lose to Tiffany Stratton, I'm going to be kind of upset about it because then this whole thing would not make any sense. And it was just to add this Grand Slam title to Becky. Again, I'm not a fan of this decision. I do trust in Shawn Michaels' booking because I do believe NXT is the best show right now in WWE. If you're not watching, you should tune in because the future is bright in that women's division no matter what. Cora Jade, you got Nikita Lyons, you have JC Jane, Roxanne Perez, Blair Davenport. The list goes on and on and on and it's only getting better.